Happy New Year and how are you guys doing? I hope you're keeping safe. Wow, it's been a minute. How was your holidays? I hope you guys had fun with your family and everyone as well. <laughs> I know I'm looking different. I tried to braid my hair. Tell me guys what you think um, about how I look. Book a comment down below and tell me what you think about my look. I couldn't do much because the sides of my hair are still kind of short. So I have to like let the braids hang low. <laughs> comment down below and tell me what you think. If I look ridiculous, I think I should probably undo this hair. I don't know. It's been a while since I made my hair. Anyway, how are you doing? How is the new year treating you? But I know for sure that you guys are doing well because if you're watching, that means that the Lord has been good to you. And for the fact that we've actually seen another year, that's that just sums up everything you know so um this is the first video of this year thank you all so much for all your love and the support that you have shown me um in the year 2020 um i've been on youtube now in it's been seven months since i've been on youtube and we're already at 16,000 subscribers imagine it's seven or eight months i started um, my youtube channel in june 17th last year so it's it's basically seven months so i am so grateful thank you thank you so much i just thank god for all sixteen thousand of you and uh, my channel is basically about diys hauls um and everything that i do i just basically try to show you what you can do on a budget that you can still live well and get um good stuff on a budget and also throw in a few of lifestyle a few of vlogs in there so if that is kind of content please consider subscribing down below just hit the red button it's for free you know <laughs> just subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any and i mean any of my latest videos because he mwaka na itakuwa moto itakuwa moto i have so much planned for you guys this new year so the last video that i did was an extreme bedroom makeover and um you all totally loved it and i'm so happy that you did because i put in a lot of heart and hard work in the room also i did it in a short time frame but i tried to achieve as much as i could the bedroom is not yet done i still have like four more projects in the bedroom so come on with your subscribe you're going to miss out on that and also please note that you need to turn on the notification bell that cabell um just next to the subscribe button just hit it and then you click all so that you don't miss out on any of the videos you know so that you can get notified so um in the previous video for the bedroom makeover a lot of you loved um some of the items and you have been asking in the comment section um where i got them the prices um the contacts etc so i decided to do this video just to answer all of you like to tell you where i got everything also this video um the main main purpose of this video is to motivate you this new year to um to revamp your house if you can and it's not expensive you can do it on a budget you can start with the painting next change the beddings change um something just something change your storage change your shurak change just moja moja one step at a time you can do it and if you have the ability to do everything at once you can also do it but before you start with your makeovers i'm going to advise that um I'm going to advise um, that um, you choose a specific color scheme that can work for you. You have to have one main bold color and a neutral. Or if you want to work with neutrals, that's still okay. You can work with neutrals for your for your for your rooms. This is not for the bedroom only. I'm talking about the whole house. You can revamp the whole house, um, a room at a time. Don't just do the whole house at once. You're going to go crazy. You're going to get everything mixed up. Just do it a room at a time. Um, choose specific color schemes. And also, um, I've seen um, in case you're, you're quite insecure about what to place where, I can help you with that. So you can DM me on Instagram and I can help you revamp your houses, by the way. Also, um there's this um youtuber her name is yvonne candy i've not met her personally she's a kenyan youtuber but i've seen a lot of her work and she is doing amazing she does e-design 
yeah she said she does e-design for your house so that you can know where what to shop and where to place it so that you don't over shop um she i don't know her personally but i just love her work i just love her work so you can check her out on youtube as well so um if you want and need help in any in your makeovers please feel free to dm me on instagram i'm going to pin my socials in the screen and in the description box below so you can check me out and please follow me on instagram i'm promising this year to try and be more consistent over there so the whole purpose of this video is to let you know that you can revamp your house on a budget manze we only live once yolo and you don't even know when you're going to get that that bulky money you know you don't know when you're going to get it so you just start with what you have start with what you have and i'm going to show you guys like you see that car white vase above me you need sugar dish at 20 bob when i bought the flower i bought the flower only without the vase because i think sometimes the vases kind of they kind of restrict you and i wanted um a vase with some details coming um back home one day from tower um kunawa to tandika stuff by the road and then they say 2020 bob 2020 bob if you live um in <laughs> Yeah, you know what was suburbs i'm sure you don't know this probably i don't know anyway um i found um this uh cash it's a sugar dish and it was going for 20 bob but i just love the two lines the two details on it as well as the other so the other stuff so it doesn't have to be expensive you can do everything on a budget and you can live well like when you get home you're like aki i'm home i love my home and you know at the end of at the end of everything at the end of a long day when you go to work if you go on vacation wherever you're going to go you just come back home you always come back home so you need to make your space to look amazing to feel like what you want a place where your space your space should be somewhere when you get in you just relax and you love everything the ambience is amazing yeah and you can do all that on a budget like i did so i want to share with you everything that i did um show you the prices and exactly where i got the stuff i'm going to start with the items that you guys have asked the most about um in the office area which are the brackets the brackets the brackets in case you don't know brackets um nizo chumas meshkilia the floating shelves you see them so if you watched my kitchen makeover the brackets that i used i bought them ready made from a hardware at 100 bob a pair so for these ones i went specifically to a welder and then i told him i am putting um mdf white piece of board in the hardware in the nini so i wanted it to be like in c shape and then place the the metal for mounting at the end so of course we measured um the width of the mdf which is three quarter inches and then i measured the length that i want uh, my shelves to be which is the width is it the length the width okay what i'm talking about is this <laughs> i measured this this is three quarter inches and then i measured this this is the width i think this is the height so i measured the width and the width was eight inches and then this is three quarter inches so i made so we made all my brackets um like that so the width of the brackets yeah so those are the speci those are the specifications of the brackets and then it cost me a hundred each which means for the two that's 200 bob so that's what it cost me for the desk for the desk behind me the ones that are the, the mounting the brackets i don't know we got them a while back i can't remember the price i can't remember the price i'm sorry but it's below a thousand and it's below 600 it's below 600 bob at most 600 shillings i'm not sure i'm not sure so um, the next item um is the bench <clears throat> the next item is the bench that you guys have inquired much about so i think for more details of the bench i'm going to be doing a detailed tutorial um a detailed video and a detailed tutorial of the bench how you can make it yourself because when i checked online this bench was going for 14k 14 to 18 thousand and i made it for less than 5k i didn't even spend 5k on this bench 
I did not. I think I spent, I not even spent 5k on this bench. Like I saved massively. I saved over 10k on this bench. So um, if you can do it yourself at home, I'm going to be doing a very detailed, I think the next video or the video, I don't know. But before the end of this month, I'm going to be uploading a very detailed tutorial of this bench. Next up is the storage baskets in the bench. So I got this. It's quite heavy. I got this basket, if you can see. And they have leads. I got this specific basket at 200 bob. I'm going to be pinning the contacts and the location of the shop in the video as well on the screen. And then I got this at 200 bob. They have another one, a medium one, at 250 to 50 bob. And the currencies are in Kenya shillings in case you're watching from abroad. So I got this at two dollars. And then there's a medium sized basket at 250. That is two dollars and fifty cents and then the big brown baskets at the bottom of the bench i got them at 350 that is three dollars and fifty cents 350 bob only per piece that is per piece you can get them from this contact down below and then for these other baskets i got them at 300 bob each each of course the contact as well is in the video so you can definitely contact them and they i got them all from kamukunji so if you go to kamukunji and then call these numbers and then um tafta is a malls utapata easy stuff you know and i really worked so you guys are so lucky i spent like five hours that day looking for these baskets i was going from shop to shop so you guys are so lucky that i'm just giving you the contact and you can call and you know purchase the baskets for yourselves so next up is the painting for the painting um for the painting we i bought one base coat I bought all my paints from Mudokinju, Mudokinju hardware. I had to specify because of this paint. I don't know if paints vary according to shops because they, I think they mix, they mixed this paint for us. I don't know my painter, um, my painter Paul. I I'll pin his contact in the video as well. Paul is a professional painter and um, he got this paint for me. I just told him what I want and then he got it for me because I was in such a hurry. I was doing the makeover um, within a specific time frame. So he got this paint from me from Mudokinju. Um, we, I bought one can of the base coat which goes for 500, 4 liters. 4 liters and it served the whole room and I still have like half of it left. I also bought just 1 liter of white paint that I used on this wall and that wall and yeah yeah white paint i bought one liter of white paint which is 600 bob and then for the wall behind me the matte blue paint this this matte blue was number b135-8 in case i said it wrong i'm going to also pin it um in the video so um i got this paint for 600 bob i got the one liter can my litosha we just applied two coats and it looks that good i love it like it's my favorite part of the room you know so next let's talk about the wall mounting over there so um i got that from river road i don't know the specific building because i was just walking in and out but i have the contact of the guy who helped me who who made it for me so what we did we printed a sticky paper but we printed it the, they used a very big printer like I think it's the printer that you, that that prints banners and billboards. So they printed like this. It's called a sticky paper or something. And then um, it was it was stuck on that three millimeter wide board. Okay. So the printing was done at the printing cost was three hundred bob, and then the board was four hundred bob. So the total was seven hundred. I also bought um, the two-sided um, glue, no, the two-sided tape, a meter was going for 100 bob. So the whole thing cost 800. I still have the two-sided tape, like in a backy mob, I just used a small bit for the four corners and the center. But the nightstand, <laughs> okay, um, I, did, I, don't, I didn't have much space over there on that corner, but I wanted it to have something not look very plain so i mounted a very small cash floating shelf to serve as a nightstand and also for it to look like it's my corner you know that's my side where i sleep so um 
for the scented candle i got it i it's actually imported and i got it from ae2ke ae2ke is a company that is both in kenya and in dubai so what they do they ship items from uae AE, basically dubai to ke kenya so you, you can contact them from via instagram or via the contacts in the video as well and um what they do they shop for what you want and then they get the best price for you they get the best prices so if you want to start a business or do or you want to purchase some to, to, to do some personalized shopping they can do it for you and then the best thing about them is the price that they give you if they tell you that this scented candle goes for 800 bob that's the price yakufika had in kenya it's inclusive of importation fees and then they import in a week tops like even in four days you can get your stuff but they just give you a week tops so that they don't disappoint you but you can expect your stuff in like four days how efficient is that of the vase or the vase i don't know how you prefer to call it but i was told it's a vase so <laughs> i got the vase from the cbd in the streets for 100 bob together with a clear vase um on the top shelf over here so i got them each at 100 bob unfortunately i don't have um the contact because it was just the evening rush um for the flower the fox flower i did a very detailed video I, i'm not sure if i still have the contact of the supplier but i did a very detailed video about where you can get this fox flowers and i'm sure the contact is over there so in case i don't get it you can go um go back and check out that video for artificial flowers or fox plants i got that bunch of flowers at two at 150 bob and this other flower over here at 250 bob as well so their prices are really really good i uh, yeah. next up um is the clock so it's my favorite like it's one of my favorite it's so annoying but it's one of my favorite items <laughs> there because i don't have to snooze anymore because ah uh, i'm a snoozer why lie why lie <laughs> every time i hear the alarm and i i feel like okay i, I can sleep kidogo kidogo too i snooze so with that clock i don't have to snooze and then it's so loud it's so loud like it will get you awake it will get you awake in a, <laughs> in a second so i got it from kamukunji unfortunately i don't have the contact for that i don't imagine i forgot to check their number but if you really really need it um you can let me know in the comment section down below and i am going to check it out for you i got it at half price it was being sold um in the shops at 500 and then i got it at 230 bob imagine like wholesale price for one piece and then it works perfectly hey guys so for the bed i basically got this duvet cover also from kamukunji the number nitaweka kwa video and i got it for 2k i prefer the duvet cover because i can remove it and just wash it like easily and then for these pillows like the small pillows one two three and four no one two three the three pillows i got each pillow at 200 bob the contact also in the video and then the cover i got this cover at 200 um and 50 bob each these two covers and then for the fluffy um cover i got it at 130 bob 130 bob for the smaller pillow i got it at 250 and then i basically improvised this because the pillow cover that i got that time was not the color that i wanted let me show you so this is the cover that i got i thought this blue would match this one but when i got home it's it was completely off and i couldn't put that pillow there when it's plain so that is uh, my top <laughs> that i've just tied there so um i'm going to get a good pillow for that that is going to match the rest of the pillows and my arrangement today is not neat so please don't mind that um for the throw blankie i got it from my our mom our mom gifted this to us and by our mom i mean specifically my mom-in-law <laughs> and these blankies are thrifted so if you'd love to know where to get them i have like several i know where she gets them i can i can definitely try and know where she got them and if you'd love to see and know where please comment down below and i'll see um i can try and do a whole video for that so when i was talking about the bottle i meant that small bottle i got it at 100 
and the clear bottle over there i also got it at a hundred shillings only yeah so that's it for today guys i really hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video was helpful i want you guys to revamp your homes and if you do please please share your before and afters with me and if you need some help please contact me on instagram and i am going to help you out and that is it for today guys um don't forget to subscribe and i love you so much but don't forget that jesus loves you more see you Mwah.